Oh my god, it's eating it! Hello there, fellow adventurers! After the last video where I talked about my top 10 games in the Adventure Jam, I decided to make a series of shorter videos in between my regular episodes, focusing on indie developers. In this first installment, we're playing Yorkshire Gubbins, developed by Charlotte Gore of the Stairfall Institute for the Study of Phantasms and Simulacra. Her latest game, I Fair Lady, ranked number one in the Adventure Jam, and seeing as Yorkshire Gubbins is 40% off in the Steam Summer Sale, it's the perfect time to get your gubbins on. So what is a gubbins anyway? Well, it's Northern English speak for a collection or assortment of unconnected items. As we'll find out though, the games in the Gubbins collection are very much connected. I recommend starting with Verb School, especially if you're not so familiar with how to play adventure games. For the princely sum of 20p, you can be taught what's known as the Nine Sacred Verbs by a robot. Verbs. What are they? Where do they come from? What do verbs want? Please verbs, just tell me. What do you want? So what do verbs want? Well, they really want you to click on them, and then on something to interact with. I am looking at you. No, you can't. This is the foundation for pointing and clicking your way through the game. It's always fun to try out different verbs and see what effect they have. Boy, get your hands off me, you damn dirty ape. Rude. Now that you know all the verbs, you're ready to play Holy Molluscimony. <laughs> Just like I Fair Lady, we play as Steggy, whose best friend Betrella is getting married. Only problem is, she's been cloned into a slug monster, and you don't know which is the real Betrella. No, oh, she's the slug monster. You're the slug monster. You're ruining my wedding. You're ruining my wedding. No, you. This is obviously a common problem in Yorkshire, and we set about the task of telling a slug from human. We're introduced to some of the colourful characters of the Gubbins world, such as Mrs. Grubbump, whose shop comes into play later. Hopefully, I never, ever, ever, ever have to go in there. Then there's Little Bilge, who rivals Little Tay as youngest flexor of the century. You're just jealous I drive a better car than you. You're ten years old. All the tests prove inconclusive, however, and Betrella is left covered in a mixture of salt, mud and asbestos. And so we come to the first fully-fledged episode, Humble Pie. It's the Yorkshire Pie Contest, and our Steggy is busy making a pie with potato and her special meat. This sounds a lot like the plot of Ramp It Up, which was number two in my Adventure Jam list. The developer Trolls Plymart also happens to be one of the voices in the game. I'm not entirely sure, but I believe he plays the wannabe vampire that runs a printing and trophy shop. Welcome to Walter Print, the home of great value, not witches. As fate would have it, our friend Betrella has stolen our special meat because of our previous actions at the wedding. And in true adventure game tradition, we must accomplish various tasks to get the meat back. One task involves bringing balance to the cosmic scale of normality. The of Nugu. By using what's known as the Udder Buttock Gromley... <laughs> The Udder Buttock Gromley Normality Index Measuring Tool. As you can see, Yorkshire Gubbins doesn't take itself too seriously and has a fun and refreshing sense of humour. All the characters also have the distinguishing feature of bobbing up and down. There are 29 Steam achievements to unlock, such as opening all the doors or using the Udder Buttock Gromley Normality Index Measuring Tool on different people to see how normal they are. Apparently she's a pot of glue. Stupid machine. If you're looking for a light-hearted adventure with plenty of gubbins, then this is for you. Charlotte Gore is a talented developer who wears a lot of hats, and her northern pride and quirky sense of humour really shines through, even on the menu screen. Hey up Hey up So what did we learn from this experience? That point-and-click games are ridiculous. That is very kind of you to say.